Hello and welcome to BharatShakti.in. We are going to be talking about a very interesting and an extremely important story today. It's all about the Cabinet Committee for Security's approval for the development of AMCA Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft. Now, we have heard a lot of stories about deficiencies in the Air Force, about our equipment being vintage, but this is one project, if it goes through, I think will be at par with the best Air Forces in the world. And to take us through the very stages that is being foreseen now, hereafter, uh, as far as development of advanced medium combat aircraft is concerned, I have with me Nitin Gokhale, the editor-in-chief of our group. Thank you, Nitin. Thanks for joining us. You're coming back home as usual. <laughs> <laughs> yes, thank you, Brigadier Chatterjee. Yes, this is an important topic uh, that you've chosen to discuss. So, uh, really, uh, something that I'm happy to uh, share some of the details that I have gleaned from discussions with uh, different uh, officials, some of the experts, and I thought uh, this is something that we can share with our viewers. Uh, right, then my first question is, you know, just to put everybody on the same page, your takeoff level should be equally good at the start point itself, is what is so advanced about this medium combat aircraft? Advanced, you call it the AMCA. What's so advanced about it? Yes, in fact, uh, AMCA, as uh, all of uh, the people who are in interested in aviation or military aviation know, is uh, India's quest for an advanced medium combat uh, aircraft, uh, which means uh, it is nearing fifth generation or uh, nearly fifth generation aircraft. Right now, we are in 4 and 4.5. Rafale is uh, said to be 4.5 generation. Now. Uh, they claim even Tejas is 4.5. Tejas is 4.5, yes, but it's a light combat aircraft. Too light. Too light and uh, also like uh, the Air Force people are fond of saying about Tejas that it, till about uh, some years ago until it was decided that it will be inducted into the Indian Air Force, that it's a good plane, good aeroplane, but not a good fighter yet because of various reasons, because there were no uh, integration had not happened. The engine was, uh, obviously engine is outside and it's come from uh, some foreign source, all that was there. But now it's getting there, you know, at least fulfilling or trying to replace MiG-21s in large numbers going forward. Yeah, not like right I said, it's corrosion depleting at least. Yes. It just comes in as an interim measure. Absolutely. So, uh, what is so advanced, you asked me about AMCA. One is, of course, that uh, the uh, aircraft, whenever it comes out, uh, and we'll talk about the timelines later, is that it will have uh, all sensors fusion on, on board uh, will be state of the art, it will be much advanced than what is available right now, even in any of the advanced planes that other air forces uh, really uh, use, uh, any of the planes. Second is that it will go, it will have uh, advanced communication system. There is no point having, uh, we will talk about stealth also as far as I think we will talk separately. Separately on stealth, yeah, but so when the people say that this is going to be stealth also, we will talk about that. But beyond stealth, it's got a lot of advanced features. Now, the, uh, the advanced communication is extremely important. You might might have full stealth, let's say, like the uh, F-22 or uh, B-21 or B-2 of the Americans. Uh, but uh, if your communication is interceptable, then uh, there is no point of uh, having that. So, therefore, the advanced communication system is termed as LPI, low probability of interception. That is going to be there on AMCA, is what the plan is. Uh, right, let me now take the next word, you know, advanced medium. Yes. Now, medium, what do you mean by medium? Really, it's, I guess, weight related. Uh, it is, and uh, therefore, uh, like people say, uh, the whole issue about uh, the medium weight, what is medium? Uh, the definitions in Indian Air Force context or Indian context is any aircraft that is in the range of uh, the weight. Uh, of the uh, aircraft, uh, which is between say 20 and 24 tons or even little beyond, is termed as uh, medium combat jet. Uh, the, just to give you comparisons, Sukhoi 30, which India uses, Sukhoi 30 MPI, is uh, between uh, 30 to 38 tons, almost 16 tons extra. Uh, the light combat aircraft, uh, LCA Mark 1, which is now under production in Mark 1A, yeah. which is under production, is about uh, 7 to 9 tons, uh, which is again much Almost lower. One third. One third of uh, thing uh, of the medium combat. And uh, the proposed uh, AMCA is likely to be about 24 to 25 tons, according to the plans that are going on. Therefore, it is called advanced medium combat jet. Okay. 
Uh, right. Uh, thank you for all that. But now let's get on to one of the more important issues, stealth. Stealth. What do you mean by stealth if you could just tell me first that? Is it a question of it zooks in and zooks out and you don't get to know that it's happened? What is it stealth and how does it, how is the stealth also a variable more in some cases, less in some cases? So stealth, uh, well, it's uh, like uh, in, to put it in somebody, some uh, uh, IF officials words, stealth is not a panacea for, uh, you know, everything. I mean, a lot of people think stealth means it's invisible. It is not. The degree of uh, detection or time for any aircraft determines uh, the uh, stealth factor. You mean how far? How far, how quickly. Suppose you're entering the enemy territory and how delayed is the reaction of the enemy will determine, I mean, will be determined by how much, how fast can you or how fast it can uh, come back also without being detected. Okay, okay. Whether you are entering the enemy territory and he is still not able to detect you or how fast you disengage before the enemy strikes you is what stealth is all about. So it varies in different degrees is what the Air Force officers tell me. And uh, it in this case, in AMCAS case, it is not fully stealth. So what they prefer, Indian, Indian Air Force prefers to call the AMCA a low observable platform. Okay. A low observable platform for a reason because uh, AMCA's engine or the exhaust will not be shielded uh, by stealth material. Now, what is stealth? Stealth is because of three or four factors that it should have low noise which should not be detected. That is called the oral signature uh, or audio signature, reduced infrared signature. Uh, if a radar is throwing the waves, the radar's uh, waves should be either, uh, they should slip away from uh, the surface of the uh, aircraft shouldn't and, and shouldn't reflect back to the radar. It should sure. go somewhere else like a diamond. Yeah. Suppose uh, light passes through diamond, it doesn't, why do we uh, get that such a beautiful sight of a diamond uh, when held against the light? Because it, the light it's goes scattered, and scattered. It, uh, the refraction is there, it goes in different directions. So, uh, it is not one singular uh, reflection in the mirror which comes back to you. That is what uh, people say. And the reduced uh, RCS uh, also uh, brought in by what is called the… Uh, radar signature. Radar, no, not only radar signature but the advanced material which is okay. used there. Okay. And the shape and the, uh, the uh, size and the uh, what is called the… Uh, what they have told me is facets. The frame, the facets and the shape of the aircraft also determines how much stealth or how much undetectable it is. Basically what is stealth, I mean this is what I want to tell the viewers, is stealth is meant for delaying detection by enemy radar or by uh, by the aircraft in the uh, in the uh, skies. At, at some point you will get detected. You will get detected, but how delayed it delayed is. Delayed so, split seconds make a difference. Definitely. 10 seconds, 15 seconds delay will give advantage to AMCA, is what uh, it is planned for. Whatever be the delay, I would say. Right. It's an advantage as long as you can deny the information That's that you are right. coming Quickly, in yeah. to the enemy. Hmm. Uh, right. Anything more on that? Otherwise, I would want to… So, the, this is what the radar absorbent materials or RAM are very useful because they are like the coats, the paints, the uh, materials which actually uh, are not reflecting the radar waves or enemy radar waves or ground or the aircraft radar. That makes it uh, as much uh, stealth as possible. Right. Uh, let's switch from stealth to another very important factor, I think very important component of a modern day aircraft, any aircraft for that matter, is the engine. Yes. Now, tell me, is it going to be one of this F-114, F-404, whatever yes. that series? Are we thinking of an engine entirely uh, new? What is the thought process? So, the thought process, clearly, the uh, AMCA's design is based on uh, the GE F-414 engine to begin with. Okay. So, the prototypes that are going to come out for the, uh, in the first five to seven years will be based on that engine which will come from GE. Uh, the Second part of a second phase of this project is that AMCA Mark II will be based on a indigenously developed, owned and designed engine, jet engine, which uh, there are three contenders to develop it with India's DRDO and uh, they are the uh, leading uh, engine makers in the world, that is GE, Rolls-Royce and Safran of France. They are uh, still in talks, uh, it will be a strategic decision, where does Indian government go? 
who would entrust that. But that is 10 years or 15 years down the line and it's, it's an expensive proposition. But that is the plan uh, in the second phase that AMCA Mark II will be based on uh, an engine specifically developed for India and for Indian uh, jet fighter jets. Right. Indian but one, one more point I wanted to make was that AMCA's design is different from all other um, fighter jets in the world. It has the ability to build on the basic platform. That means it's like a modular design where you can build on the uh, basic uh, first design. You can add. Otherwise, normally once built, uh, aircraft uh, cannot be the design cannot be changed. Here. If the second engine is coming or the indigenous engine is coming, it can still be accommodated there with minor tweaks is what uh, the AMCA proponents are saying. This is a very um, different kind of a design and uh, it's likely to benefit India much more. Uh, you were talking about different kind of, different uh, the companies which could come in for design, right. etc. Yeah. Now, we'll have certain amount of partnership yes. for developing AMCA with right. various countries. Absolutely. And you could, if you could tell us who have the same class equipment. Uh, obviously, that goes down to the uh, uh, circle that we can draw amongst those countries. We, so, we as should I, go ahead. So, as I said, Rolls Royce is <coughs> in UK. Mm. Uh, Safran is from France. Safran is uh, the one that supplies engines to Mirage, used to, and now to Rafales. And of course, uh, GE is uh, with the Americans. Now, uh, tied to it uh, are decisions on. Uh, the procurement of the multi-role fighter aircraft that Air Force is likely to do 110 of them. And uh, if that can be leveraged, you know, that large order uh, with any of these three countries. Uh, obviously, you can rule out UK because it doesn't, have, it doesn't have uh, uh, the uh, requisite uh, aircraft to supply to India or anywhere else. So, basically the competition between the US and the uh, French uh, conglomerate. No, don't the Russians also have something they They have, so stealth? there was, yeah, they have, but in fact, um, they, if you remember, there was a project called FGFA, Fifth uh -huh. Generation Fighter Aircraft, which was uh, abandoned by Indian government or Indian Air yeah, Force yeah, yeah. some years ago. And uh, only then the AMCA actually came into being in 2007-8, it sort of uh, started getting traction. So Russians may come into the uh, picture later if they uh, force their way. But I'm not sure whether Indian Air Force is now, right now, enthused about Russian technology. Uh, but I think we lost a lot of money in that. Oh, yes, we did. We did. <laughs> Let's talk about technology transfer a little bit. Isn't it going to be a tough job? As I see it, it should be a tough job of getting whichever country that you want to go along with us. And that's one and whichever company that's going to go along with us. So, G, as you, as you are aware, is already giving uh, G engine uh, complete manufacturing TOT to India under that uh, agreement yeah, that yeah, was done last yeah. year when Prime Minister Modi was in White House in June 2023. That is being used for LCA Mark II. Now, this is what India is, the roadmap, uh, what India is planning is that you will get GE for, Mark, for LCA Mark II. We will uh, also go with LC, uh, the GE engine for AMCA's uh, Mark I. So, that technology transfer will take place automatically because it has been agreed upon. 90% uh, of the manufacturing technology will come here, not the full TOT, but 90% of that will come. India is also developing its own sensors and uh, uh, the computers. And in fact, uh, one of the main features which I didn't speak about, about AMCA, why it is advanced, its uh, mission computer on board will be very fast and it will actually eliminate uh, the four or five inputs that a pilot has to take from different uh, instruments. And uh, this computer will enable the, all that, uh, all the inputs to be, to be distilled, merged uh, and distilled and then uh, okay. the full picture presented right. to him uh, so that uh, he can take uh, split second decisions. That is the advanced feature also which uh, must be mentioned. Right. One more question, that's about the money aspect, financial sanctions, etc. How much will it right. work out? So, uh, right now they have sanctioned some uh, Indian rupees 15,000 crores for uh, the initial development phase, that is the five prototypes that they have uh, sanctioned, the Cabinet Committee on Security. But it has also told the Air Force and the other agencies involved, that is Aeronautical Development Agency, DRDO, HAL, who is going to manufacture, that as and when funds are required, uh, it'll be, they will be made available. And the uh, other thing that uh, they are now looking at is that to uh, have a learning uh, 
uh, of LCA Mark 1, the LCA Mark 2 which is now going to sort of come on uh, stream, all those learnings will actually help AMCA squeeze the timelines. A lot of people have said AMCA is delayed and India is now out of the race because other countries have already started uh, flying or testing those things. What the Air Force and the ADA and others are saying is that we are going to distill all that experience and come into a, a place where we, timelines will be squeezed when we are not that far behind. Yes, certainly it's far behind uh, in terms of if you start uh, start looking back and say, oh, it started, the conception started in 2007. But actually, uh, India became serious only about 2015-16 uh, about AMCA when they realized that you are not going to get uh, any more uh, you know, uh, aircraft uh, cheap from elsewhere. So, therefore, this to be developed like this. That's the road plan, uh, road map for the future. Okay. I hope they, they stick to the time path. Hopefully. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, one last question. Yes. Man on man does the latest, you know, you, uh, right. uh, as far as the more developed uh, air forces are concerned, they're going for man on man. Yes. How much is this also really built into an AMCA design or this must be thought of? What do you, what do you know about man So, man what are, from what I know after all these details and briefings and uh, discussions is that certainly that plan is there in the, in the second phase uh, of AMCA where uh, they'll explore the possibility of uh, what they use the term MUM-T that is man unmanned teams. Hmm. So, some of the AMCAs can be unmanned because by the time the technology will be so advanced that you can fly them like UAVs, but you do not require pilots. So, for some, sometimes in the waves of attacks that you do against a very heavily defended um, target, let us say, then you take uh, the unmanned first and then the manned follows if necessary, is what the plans are. I, mean, I think all Air Forces are discussing this, whether it will come to fruition and how effective it will be, nobody knows because that is in the future. But that plan is certainly there and AMCA actually because of its features, can have, because as I said, uh, machine computer is going to be so uh, advanced that you can actually eliminate uh, the need for a second pilot in the Mark 1 of AMCA is what people are hoping. So, we will see how it goes. But yes, certainly that plan is there. All right, Nathan, thank you so much. I think uh, that is as much as I want from you. But if you have so anything more to offer, of course. No, I mean, uh, the only thing is that we have woken up late. Uh, we should have uh, started doing all this much earlier. LCA has taken 34, 35 years from its inception or conception, but it is now picking up pace, but it is facing a lot of uh, headwinds because of supply of engines. So, the lesson here is that unless you become self-reliant, which is our uh, motto. motto and our logo says that this is a tagline. Uh, no country can become powerful and uh, I think this is the way to uh, go forward. But better late than never is what I wanted to add really. Right. Thank you. I am sure what you said is absolutely correct. We have got to rely on ourselves and produce the best machines at the end of the day. Thank you, Nitin. Thanks for joining us. Pleasure. Uh, right, viewers, thank you so much. Thanks for joining us and please join us like this now and then and you will find interesting stories.